1051. Jay Ellis is here today. What's good? I'm not going to call you Lawrence. Not <laughs> once today. Hi, love. What up? I need one of these hats. I think this might be the last one. I'll give you mine. What do you mean? This might be the last one. We gave these. I got these. Me and Yvonne got these as a, a rap gift for the crew last year, for the cast and crew last year. You got them for the cast? Yeah. The, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, so those are like personal. Those are not yeah. like you can't buy a... Uh, uh, no, nah, you know how. You is know, there insecure you, listen, merch? There should listen, be insecure merch. Listen, you know how capitalism works. These streets is out here. So these houses <laughs> out here in the streets somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Up on 125th on somebody's blanket <laughs> or towel in the streets. You already know that. Those could move. I need one of those. <laughs> I would purchase one of those hats. I love. I love the show. I love you. You know that. But I also love the show. What a great piece of work to be connected to, right? Yeah, it's a lot of fun, man. They, 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 The show has been amazing. Like, Issa and Princess and Melina, like, just the vision that they've created and the writer, the room of writers and just even behind the camera, like, our DPs are dope and uh, we got Raphael Sadiq who, like, composes on the show. Like, everything about the show is, like, really special. It's like, I feel like it's almost like a dream sometimes that I got to be a part of that. How did you even get that in the first place? So I I know that I got the script in like January or February and they and HBO had just announced that they were going to do a pilot. Mm. And one of my homeboys hit me, Clarence Hammond hit me and he was like, yo, you got to read this. It's a character in here. I think you would kill this. It's perfect for you. So I read it and actually I was like, oh. You're so good in it, by the way. Yo, go ahead, go, but go. Look, thank you. But look, look, I read it and I was like, oh shit, I'm going to kill Daniel. I thought it was the DJ, the, the, the music dude the whole time was what really? he was talking about. Yeah. And I was like, I oh, I'm about to kill Daniel this. I'm about to kill this, right? So I call all my reps at the time and I'm like, yo, who do we know? Like, can we get a meeting with somebody? Can mm -hmm. I sit down with Issa? And Did you like, know Issa already? I met Issa once. We both got, uh, we both received, we both were honored for this um, Urban League, LA Urban League oh, uh, yeah. award for community service. So that was the first time I'd ever met her. And that was maybe like a year and a half earlier. Mm -hmm. And that was super, super brief. You know how them things are. Like, yeah, it was yeah, super, yeah. super brief. So, um, I call on my reps. My reps are like, oh, it looks like it's not going to go to the summer. I'm like, all right, cool. Can we track it? Fast forward, Issa, Prentice, uh, Vicky Thomas, who I think is one of the most amazing casting directors in Los Angeles. She knows black talent better than anybody. She knows mm -hmm. talent, period, better than anybody, I think. But anyway, she, uh, they're doing a breakout set. They're doing like a little a work session for casting. And I guess like my name came up as like, who do you think is a Lawrence type? And my name came up. And Issa was like, yeah, but do you think he would do it? And Vicky was like, I'm pretty sure he's available. He'll, he would do it, <laughs> right? Now, meanwhile, I'm wow. sitting at the house like, I hope somebody called me today because I'm the... ready for a job. Yeah. So I end up going in. I audition for it. I audition for both Daniel and Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Alon additional. Uh, I can't audition. even see you as Daniel. Yeah, Alon auditioned for both Lawrence and Daniel. Mm -hmm. Um. So we 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 went in, and that's where the first time we met each other, and we actually we both ended up testing. Obviously, I tested for. We tested against each other actually for Lawrence. Um. How does that work? You got to do scenes with no. No, nah, yeah. So you go in like testing sessions are mad awkward. It's like you sit there with your competition. It's like an interview, like a job interview. Like you sitting there Together? with like four people. Yeah. So and our test was actually me, Alan who plays Daniel, and Neil who plays Chad, my best friend. Uh -huh. The four of us, or I'm sorry, the three of us tested for Lawrence. So the three of us are just sitting outside this like conference room, just waiting to go in and read a scene <laughs> That's with Issa. Awful. That's oh, awful. it's super awkward because you also know people, right? Like I'm yeah. like, oh, I know Alan from the show that he did on yeah, Fuse. Yeah, yeah. I know Neil because he was just yeah in 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 the NWA movie and straight out of Compton, right? So I'm like, man, all right, well he definitely got it. He just in the biggest movie of all time this year, so there's no way I'm gonna get to. Ugh. And then you go in and you do the scene in front of, it's a pitch black room. It's like a theater. Uh -huh. So it's pitch black. You can't see the seats, but they can see you. And you do the scene up there with Issa. Um, and they, there. Hey, she's with you. And you play out the whole scene. And if you're supposed to touch, you touch. If you're supposed to kiss, you kiss. Whatever you're supposed you to do to in do the scene. you have to do those things out the what, gate? Whatever you're supposed to do, you're supposed to do. You right? did that. Yeah, we didn't kiss in this scene, but I tried to kiss her, and she, like, pulled back. Like, which chill ultimately out. This is an is, audition. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, nah, bro. Don't get nah, crazy. Bro. But it's actually what they ended up using in the pilot. Like, he goes to kiss her when they're sitting on the couch, and he's like, yo, can we just re red box a movie? And he kisses her on the couch. Mm -hmm. And, like, it was that same, that same scene. Anyway, so I do the whole joint. I leave HBO. <laughs> I'm in my car for maybe, like, 12, 13 minutes, and they call me. And they're like, yo, you booked it. So, like, I booked it mad, mad fast. Is that, like, the most amazing words for an actor to hear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you start booked thinking about, it. Well, yeah, because you start thinking about all the money you're about to spend. You start thinking about the cars <laughs> you're going to buy, all the trips you're about to take. Nah, <laughs> but nah, it is amazing, especially, like, 
for this because there was something about Insecure that just felt so different and, and special. Felt, and special and modern. And, and, yeah. yeah, and I yeah. felt like I'd also never seen not only the Lawrence character uh, on television before, so a young black man who was going through all that, but I'd also never seen these women mm. uh, on television as well. And so, like, there was something about it where I knew I just wanted to be a part of it no matter what. It's so good. Yeah. You were saying that when, before that you were trying to, like, wait for a call to get your next job. That's got to be awful, right? That's, like, for every actor. Yeah. Even people we know that are, like, famous, seen on shows, you still in that struggle of, like... Yo, I've walked in some rooms and auditioned with some people, and I'm like, it's no way in hell. This dude should be all offers. Like, it's no way... In, it's just Hollywood's way of, like, keeping you in check, keeping you keeping you humble. But it's cool, too, because You're I think... You're not going to tell me who it was? Now you have to tell nah, me. Now yeah, my I'm mind not going to put wondering. nobody's business out there like that. Is it Denzel? <laughs> nah. No. <laughs> nah. <laughs> if I ever saw Denzel Washington in an audition room, I would be like... I wouldn't even audition, first of all. I would just turn around and walk out because there's nothing you can do when the king walk in. But yeah. <laughs> but I would also say him? this is all set up. This is a whole setup. All yeah. of it is a setup. Yeah. <laughs> um I've met Denzel once at ABFF last year, actually, at the ABF Honors. Not this not this one, right. but twenty seventeen. Not yeah. him in the room though. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I get up and run out. But like I love everything you do, Dance. All right, cool. But I'm about to get this role. I'm about <laughs> yeah. to take this role from you. Uh, speaking of ABFF, I know you're like an ambassador now, which yeah. is, tell me what, it's the... American the, Black Film American Festival. American Black Film yeah. Festival, thank you, which yeah. I've been to and actually seen some great movies yeah. at. It's great. Kugler came out, his first short, one of his shorts was uh, was there, and he was he won that year. Uh, Stephen Cable Jr., same thing, I think was a year right after uh, wow. Kugler, who's directing the new Creed. Uh -huh. Obviously, we already know Kugler's work. Uh as a as a he did a small a, movie a Billy <laughs> small movie uh, director yeah uh, with with Black Panther um it's it's amazing um I follow I get to like I'm following the footsteps of some like really dope people like Tracy Ellis Ross's ambassador Regina Hall Anthony Anderson Common so uh, this is Morris like an Chestnut. honor right yeah it's, it's kind of like, like a big deal yeah like Jeff Friday and Nicole who run it they were like yo you have been chosen but they didn't tell me how much work it was gonna be how many ambassadors are there. Just one? Yeah. Oh, so it's just you? Yeah, so they got me out here in the Oh, streets. so it's a really big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. You was playing me. You was like, oh, you got your little ambassadorship. I didn't know if it was like five people, like a board, like a, you know what I'm saying? Nah, like they, there were five. I, I didn't know it was just you. So they bring and people. And I was not trying <laughs> <laughs> With your little ambassadorship. You All think right. you're cute, huh? Okay, <laughs> okay. Cute. It was like 10 of you. It was 10 last year. No, nah, they do, they do like. They bring people in for different things. So like they'll bring people in for like to judge different fest the different parts of the festival, right? For the shorts right. competition, for the comedy competition, for the uh, feature competition. They'll bring people in for different parts of that. But yeah, I'm I'm out here in the streets and letting people know that we're gonna be in Miami in June, June thirteenth through seventeenth. Wow, is there anything that we should um I don't know, be looking for? Do you know already like what the the, the projects are yeah, that are coming well, through? So so Kugler is coming to do a talk. Which wow. is gonna be amazing. Um, Ryan's coming to do a talk that just got confirmed. Can anybody go to these things? Yeah, anybody can go. You wow. can go to abff.com and buy tickets. Mm -hmm. It's Miami. It's beautiful. It's I've been to one. It's really cool. It's, it's like really a dope. lot of really talented people. Everybody kind yeah. of exchanging. And you end up in like these dope and... spaces where like you know you end up like five years ago, six years ago, you end up with like Ryan Coogler who's got a short there and like Ava DuVernay who's got a feature there at the same time. And now look where we're at. You know what I mean? Like that's the really mm -hmm. dope thing about it is you never know who you're standing next to or who's about to, you be know, the be the next, Coogler. you know what I'm saying? And so <laughs> right. like that's, it's really, and that's actors to writers to directors, producers, all of the above. Uh, uh, Will Packer got his start there with a with mm -hmm. a project it's it's really amazing to see how much talent Did he really which yeah. what, what was that? I don't remember the you name. Don't remember. Of that. I'm I put you on the spot. You're the ambassador. You're supposed to know this type of shit. I'm horrible. And somebody they got don't Google give you, in like, here. like the ambassador notes. And somebody got the Google in here. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. Good for him. All right, so anybody could go. Anybody could you'll go. Be there, and you'll be there. Clearly. I'll be there. I'll be at every event. Every event. Every event. I'm 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 hosting so you are some taking stuff. This very seriously. Yeah, man. It's, it's, I meant it's no dope. disrespect when I <laughs> I did not present the question properly. Nah, it's <laughs> it's mad though. Like I, so I'm gonna do a couple screen. I'll do screenings. Yeah. I'll do. Uh, I'll moderate some panels. I'm hosting a party, a dinner. It's gonna be a good time. I think Yvonne a Orgy the, might be coming out to do the comedy wings. I mean no disrespect by this question. <laughs> oh, boy, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> but why did they pick you? <laughs> no, like what? Where am I right no, now? No, 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 really. <laughs> like, what, what is the... It, what, did they tell you that? Is there, like, a ceremony? Is there something that you have to some, do to get to, to be that person? Nah, so, uh, so, so yeah, be, be a sucker. <laughs> nah, uh, so I, I was with Jeff and Nicole somewhere, and Jeff over to the side, and he was like, hey, man, you should work with ABFF. And I was like, yeah, man, I would absolutely love to, like, anytime and he's yeah. like no nah, man i mean you should work 
we need BFF. I'm gonna call you. And I was like, all right, Jeff, cool. You know how LA. Yeah, yeah. I was like, all right, Jeff, cool. And Jeff is not that dude. And this, and he followed on his word. So I was in South Africa filming a movie in the fall, and I get this call, I get this email, and it's a letter from Jeff. Like, yo, I love your work. I know what you got going on. Like, I think what you do in the community is dope, and yeah. how you use your platform. And we would love you to come be a part of the festival. And that was that. So I called him like a week later. We, because I had to call on somebody else's phone because it was really expensive to call international from uh-huh. South Africa. So I, I called him on production's phone. You don't know when that next job's <laughs> yeah. gonna come. You know I called right? him on production's phone, <laughs> but I called him and we had a conversation about it. And I was like, my man, like I'm, I'm absolutely honored, man, and I would love to. That's so great. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm in. I wasn't sore. Now I'm. I have to go now. Yeah, you gotta I wanna, come. I'm totally down for that. You can so, do the show from down there every day. Is this what you're, you're brokering as an yeah, ambassador? Yeah. Some live broadcast? Yeah. yeah. We got to figure out who's going to cut the check, though. But yeah. <laughs> there definitely should be a check involved <laughs> in all of that, by the way. <laughs> all right. So can we just talk about Insecure for a moment? And then we'll talk because I know you have a lot of things going on. So it, there's a new season, yes? There is a new season. Coming? Yeah. When? Uh, I'm not a hundred percent positive. What? I, I mean, yeah, I'm not. I don't know if they've released a date yet. I'm, I'm, Listen. I'm a little bit out of it. I'm not really. They've been filming for like the last six or seven weeks or something like that. Um, Wait, are do are? Does, what do you mean you're out of it? Well, I just I'm not fully in the loop on what's going on with the show. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know what everything that's going on with the show. What are we gonna see you in season three? Are you? I mean, I know I you can't tell us what's happening with your relationship. But, but I don't know if there is a relationship. I mean, I don't, this is what... There has to be a relationship. Yeah, but does there? Like, there was closure there at does. the end. There was, like, full closure. But it didn't feel right. What you mean? They said bye. But, but it doesn't... But even the way they place your character on the show, it doesn't feel like a character that's supposed to go away. But isn't that life? So you telling me you're going away? I'm not. I don't know. I honestly, truly don't know. I might get a call tomorrow, and they're going to be like, hey, could you come do this? And I'll be like, yeah, I'll be there. But okay. I, I really don't know. I, I think that, like... So you haven't it shot any scenes me. yet? It I have not shot on Instagram. That's not a good sign for Lawrence. This is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> I just, I don't, again, it may happen. I have no, I truly have no idea. I think one of the things that like, you know, this show I think is really special in the way that again, like our writers fight for every single piece of punctuation. Mm-hmm. They have fought for every storyline and they've always wanted it to remain true and to remain real to like, our experiences as, mm-hmm. as people. And so I think when you go through relationships and they don't work out, you know, sometimes you never see people again. Sometimes you bump into them. Sometimes you yeah, but have even, you circle of friends. Sometimes one, you purposely all, stay away from them. But they always them. present the one, right? They have presented you as like the one, right? I mean, I can't help that, but you know. <laughs> what? Okay, so you you were supposed to come back? It's like Sex in the City. We all knew Mr. B- we all knew Biggs was coming I'm back. Chris Noth right now? Huh? Of Christopher Noth? Yes, right now. <laughs> yes. You're Biggs. Yeah. You're the Biggs of Insecure. I'll be Mr. Big. I'll you're take Mr. that. You're Mr. Big of Insecure. I'll take that. So you have to get back together. I I don't know. I I listen. I think that even if they don't end up back together, I think what's really special is that they 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 definitely loved each other, right? They definitely care about each other. Um, and I think they both truly mean, f- want well for the other. Mm-hmm. And and I think that means for them, to me, in my mind, it means whether they're together or not, they're always going to want Is the best for Is there a place for, for Lawrence if he's not together with her on the show? I don't know. I'm asking you questions that I should be asking the writers at HBO. Is that what you're saying to me? <laughs> Let me see who's available. Real I only quick. have but a few shows that I really feel committed to, and this is one of them. And so it makes me. You upset. should still say committed, though. I know, I know, I would be, I would, but I prefer if you're on the show. You got to stay committed. You never know. Is all I'm saying. Can so. you do other shows? Yeah. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying I to pop in and pop out. I'm trying to assess if that means we're going to see you on Insecure. <laughs> well, no, nah, because I mean, I'm also trying to do other stuff, right? Like I'm writing. I got a movie coming out this summer. I had a movie at Sundance that, that with Omari and, and, and Megan. Oh, yeah. What Megan was that? Good, a Boy or Girl a Dream. Mm-hmm. That just sold. Um, so, you know, they're putting together the plan on when that'll release. I just had a film. I was in a film, rather, that was here at Tribeca. Mm-hmm. Um so that still has to go down this process and, and get sold, and I'm sure it will, and it'll be in theater soon. So, um, yeah, I'm not producing another project. Uh, with You're not going anywhere, then. The You're going to be around. Doug Yoda. Yeah, I'm doing a bunch of other stuff. All right, I'm trying fine. to stay busy. And then, we have, and then you have the ambassador. <laughs> the ambassador. Yeah, do you feel like you, you've hit... I know Lawrence was a big role, and I know, I know you've had some great roles, but like, do you feel like you've hit... You, you're there yet? Never. Really? No. Nah. Never or just like not yet? Never. 
ever. Yeah, one of my homeboys, actually Neil, uh, who plays Chad, who plays my best friend on the show, one of the things he always says is like, you go to sleep a champ, you wake up a loser. Mm. And like, I think that's so interesting. Like, I, I do really think that, first of all, there's two things. I think life in general is just about growth and exploring and, and continuing to find more. Mm -hmm. And I think as an actor, like that's what I do when I portray a character, like I'm constantly trying to find more. So every single thing I look at or I do when I look at it, I'm like, oh man, that could have been a little bit better mm -hmm. or that could have been this, or I learn from it every single time mm -hmm. I watch it, right? And so for me, I feel like if I feel that I've arrived, if I feel that then like- Then you're done. Then, I've done, then I'm plateaued, yeah, but yeah. I don't have nothing to learn. I don't yeah. have anywhere to grow. I don't have any room to expand So where do you in. go from here? What's next? Like how do you, what's the growth? writing a show right now um okay that i just sold so that's a whole new lane right um so doing a little bit more of that and producing some stuff mm -hmm. i'm producing a short that we're getting ready to do in a few weeks um i got a couple movies that i'm i'm writing one movie that i want to direct so you want to do more like yeah. i want to do you want to be you want to be responsible for the content that you're yeah involved in yeah because i think also too like one of the things that uh, you know just again like Issa's business which she's created and like ushering in all these new voices right and giving people a platform and an opportunity from her digital channel to or from her youtube channel to you know what she's done with her deal at hbo like i think that is part of that to me that's success it's like when you can reach across mm -hmm. and like bring somebody along and help them achieve their dreams then now we have two hands reaching across and helping two other people mm -hmm. and then four hands and so forth and so on and so i think like that is a part of what drives me and part of why i do what i do well keep going my love i'm gonna try i'm here for all of it i love it and hopefully lawrence comes back i'm really <laughs> i'm really into lawrence and Issa together i'm sorry i really i just i think i because when you have that person that person always has to kind of reappear it has to happen but do they Yes, like I. That's I mean, the rule. You live in a smaller city than, than 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 what I do. Smaller in terms of like you could bump into people on the streets. So like when you out doing stuff. But like I, I have exes that I've not seen since the last time I seen them. Yeah, but I'm talking about like the real ex. There's one or two, right? Isn't there like you talking about the? I got you. Come on, the don't give me got, randoms. The, the, don't the, throw the one random. that possibly got. Don't throw randoms. Not, in there. We don't need, we don't need to dig too deep. Ran the Lawrence that, is not a random. The one that might have got away. Yes, you ever run into her? No. Liar. I swear. Scra I Pass, swear. Pass, don't cross, social media, nothing? Nope. You don't have any moments of, like, nothing, ever. I never look back. But All that's right. also part of the way I was raised. Like, I don't I don't ever look back. Really? Yeah. I think that's Why just that the, the military thing. Of oh, because like, you were in the, you yeah, up in the military. Yeah, and I think moving around so much, like, before social media, like, there was no way to keep in contact with people. you just like, all right, yeah, I knew you for two years. I loved you. Got to go. That's why you are like that. You know what I mean? So then like, you move to the next city. Yeah. But you from New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, for you, like, everybody you know is probably, not everybody, but you, you know, know what I'm saying? This city but, yeah, I mean, yeah right. but I'm just saying, though, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I don't have that one place where I'm going to bump into somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? No, I get that. All right, fine. <laughs> I, I disappointed want, you. I just, I just want, you know what I mean? I think that that's a, he's a great character. I think you did a credit. It's, it's a testament to your performance Thank in you. the character. Thank so. you very much. It was fun. So, wait, did you go to Coachella? You yeah. were at Coachella? Yeah, I was in Coachella. Did you go for the whole time? I went for it. Nah, I, I flew just for Beyonce. I was at TED. I was You're at the TED the conference. I was at the TED conference <laughs> in, in Vancouver. I flew home on Friday well, night. All right, I'm going to go back to the Saturday TED conference. Morning, that's interesting to me. Saturday too, yeah. morning, I drove straight to Coachella. Just to see Beyonce. Just to see Beyonce. I mean, it was the biggest show, I think, ever. I saw a meme the other day of a guy saying... I want to know if it's okay if I'm a straight man, if I'm a part of, if I could be part of the beehive. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know as a straight man <laughs> if, if it's okay. I mean, I think you got to ask Beyonce if if, I if think she's, it's okay if she's letting men point, in. At this point, I think it's okay. And it's if you flew status. across the country to go see Beyonce, I'm I think yeah, because I feel like that's like that's a moment, like that's a historical moment. It's the performance is revolutionary. The 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 direction was revolutionary. Like, everything she did about it was unlike anything we have ever seen, not only at Coachella, but at music festivals in general, concerts in general, and from a black female, from an artist, period, mm -hmm. who's got that kind of appeal worldwide and that kind of an audience worldwide. Like, that was magic. What that was, it was like pure there? magic. It was totally magic. And you know what's so funny is I tweeted, like, that she's the greatest of all time, all right? Time. As, but then... Go. 
and and people like argue with me, and I get it because every because that's all that's a personal right. thing, right? Go, you know, but um, but easily an arguable fact, you know what Go. I'm saying? Like easily. Go. And so, what was it like there? Because I watched it on mm -hmm, YouTube, the live stream, which I thought was pretty good actually. <laughs> but there, I'm sure it felt like uh, something magical was happening. You know, what's crazy is is like you know you you sit there and you know what song she would play like some of the intros to songs, mm -hmm. and then the band and the band would be playing them right, and then all of a sudden the band would it, they would literally just change it up, and the next thing you know, it's like Pastor Troy. But like Beyonce is singing like love on top over Pastor like your whatever song it is right, on right. top of Pastor Troy or like it's it's you know what I'm saying something from like uh, uh, No Limit not No Limit yeah No Limit like she did a juvenile song she did back that ass up but like she was playing something over the top of back that ass up you know what I'm saying and it was just like this is insane but it's too playing, much like, it's like it's like <laughs> what is ha it's so yeah. much culture happening at one time right now plus it's like this 200 piece band and you got all these dancers and. Um, it was just, um, I grew up also, I went to high school in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And so like right down the street from like Langston mm -hmm. and like, there's a, you know, all the Southern HBCUs. So like Grambling and mm -hmm. all of that. Right. And, like I was in a band for a little bit in high school and we you would what? go, yeah, okay. and we would go down to battle of the bands down at, at, at uh, in New so Orleans. You're, you were in a, like a zone. So when I saw the band, like I immediately was like, oh, this is everything from like, eighth grade to like 11th grade like i know exactly what this is yeah this i felt like it spoke to me it was so good it was insane man it was for the culture it was 100 percent. she was like yo if you don't know this i'm glad and then after she was done you flew out you're out of there after after <laughs> i was done i went backstage and i saw a helicopter take off which i only could presume was b and well, j right uh was it a big beautiful it was a helicopter? big ass helicopter okay that was them yeah mm -hmm. um i could only presume it was them and then um, <laughs> I stayed the night. I stayed the night. And then the next morning, Sunday morning, I took off and you went back to LA. There. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much nah, for coming today, you. my love. Thank I you. hope to see you on the new season of Insecure. <laughs> I know you can't say it. Uh, but whatever you have coming up next, we will absolutely check out. I love it. Thank Jay you. Ellis, everybody. It's Power 105.1. Thank you.